are going to find the monster by Mallory Blackman and Depo Adiola. Charlie and Eddie were playing in the garden. Breakfast in 10 minutes, called Dad. Come on, said Charlie. We need to find the monster. But it's breakfast time. He'll be grumpy, said Eddie. He'll be grumpy and hungry, said Charlie. He'll be grumpy and hungry and snappy, said Eddie. He'll be grumpy and hungry and snappy and prickly, they both said together. Shh, we'll need to be very careful. And off they went. We're going to find the monster. They sailed over a shimmering ocean. Look out, there's a whale, Eddie pointed. No problem, said Charlie and she rowed their boat quickly around it. Over the shimmering ocean, we're going to find the monster. They began to climb a huge high mountain. Look out, a hungry wolf. Don't worry, said Charlie. And she sang a soft, sweet song to soothe it. Then she gave it a massive hug and set it on its way. Over the shimmering ocean, up the huge high mountain, we're going to find the monster. They crept through a deep, dark jungle. Look how a fearsome, fierce tiger, said Eddie. They hid in a cave, but only just in time. The most fearsome, fierce tiger in the whole world slunk past. Eddie and Charlie held their breath until it had gone. Phew, that was close. Over the shimmering ocean, up the huge high mountain, through the deep dark jungle, we're going to find the monster. They floated in giant bubbles across the bubbly bubble lake. Careful not to disturb the foamy friend. Luckily, it was too busy relaxing to notice them. Over the shimmering ocean, up the huge high mountain, through the deep dark jungle, across the bubbly bubble lake, we're going to find the monster. We're here, whispered Charlie. Ooh, this is the smelliest, messiest, scariest place in the whole wide world. Eddie and Charlie tiptoed inside. And there it was, the monster! The monster was fast asleep and snoring his head off. Let's get him, whispered Eddie. Charlie crept up to the monster. Breakfast time, she shouted. The monster sprang up. Roar! He roared. Tickle time! And he chased Eddie and Charlie out of his lair. Past the foamy fend, around the fearsome fierce tiger, over the hungry wolf, down, down, down the huge high mountain, beyond the shimmering ocean, and into the kitchen where a breakfast of yummies was waiting for them. The monster grabbed Charlie and tickled her tummy. Then he snatched up Eddie and tickled him, too. Marcus, stop tickling your brother and sister and sit down for breakfast, said Dad. And if I don't, laughed Marcus, 
Then we'll all tickle you, said Mom. And that's exactly what they did.